Meet Steve. No, not him. That. Classified in 2016, this strange purplish-white arc in the sky was officially named Steve after the mysterious hedge in the 2006 animated film Over the Hedge. What is this thing? I would be a lot less afraid of it if I just knew what it was called. Let's call it Steve! But it's not just comedy gold, it's a scientific gem. After it was classified, a backronym was suggested, Strong Thermal Emission Velocity Enhancement. Unfortunately, unlike the word laser, the name does not really explain the thing, so I'll have to do. During a geomagnetic storm, which are the drivers of auroras, geomagnetic fields and currents are going wild. Magnetic field lines snap, which redirect ions towards the Earth, which collide with atoms in our upper atmosphere, painting the sky in greens, reds, purples, and blues. But that's not what Steve is. Steve is sort of an after-effect of the aurora, as it's not a genuine aurora itself. See, during the processes that drive an aurora, an intense electric field can be established around the Earth pointing towards the poles, so to the north if you're in the northern hemisphere, or to the south if you're in the southern hemisphere. On the other hand, the local geomagnetic field basically always points in the same direction. In the north, it points into the ground, and in the south, it sticks out of the ground. So when that strong electric field is established, the two perpendicular electric and magnetic fields establish a channel by which heavy ions are driven in the third direction. In both hemispheres, this means that they're driven west, to a place earlier in the night. The actual width of the channel is pretty narrow, just a few degrees wide, which is a few hundred kilometers. This channel is called a SED, a suboral ion drift. Anyway, it's that said that causes Steve. By smashing those ions into neutral nitrogen atoms, those nitrogen atoms start to vibrate in a very particular way. And when they vibrate like that, they are more likely to split apart and join with free oxygen atoms to produce nitric oxide. That nitric oxide in turn combines with another loose oxygen to form nitrous oxide, emitting light in the process. The resulting light is spread across the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum, hence the white, rather than green or red, glow of Steve. So next time you're at sub-auroral latitudes, be on the lookout for Steve. You might get a show.